Back on the campus of Penn State University, the crowd is solid, it's packed, it's juice. Live volleyball for the national championship. Chris Marlowe, Heather Cox, the Pepperdine starters, Lance Walker is opposite. Fred Winters, Sean Rooney, the freshman on the outside hitters, Chris Van Rusen, and player of the year, Brad Keenan in the middle. Boat Daniels, an outstanding setter. And of course, the lead barrow is Clint Olson. Marv Dumphy in his 19th year, 2002 MPSF Coach of the Year for the first time, looking to become just the second coach in history to win titles in four different decades. Meanwhile, for Hawaii, Al Zemet is opposite Costa Theo Horides and Tony Chinger outside. Dayan Miljadinovic in the middle with the freshman Delano Thomas. Kimo Tuye is the setter. Vernon Podluski, little Vern, is the lead barrow. And Mike Wilton has led his Warriors to a national ranking in each of his 10 seasons. Back-to-back -back championship appearances in 95 and 96, but has yet to win that first elusive title for Hawaii. So here we go, the best three out of five game match. Of course, it's all rally scoring first four games to 30, fifth and final game if necessary to 15, and the net serve, and it lands in the court, is in play. Chris Van Roosen is a senior from Huntington Beach. He socks the first ball down for Pepperdine. First game more critical for which team? I think for Hawaii, you're the underdog. You need to establish the momentum and the confidence and try and neutralize Pepperdine's incredible serve. Over the top, you're going to be seeing a lot of number nine, Kostas Theorides. He was the NCAA Player of the Year last year. And, and he's interesting decision by coach Wilton to start him at right front meaning he's in the back row for the beginning of this match most people like to start their big guns at left front well Mike Wilton told me yesterday that he wants to have his big blocker Dayan Miladinovic on Brad Keenan and he's got that matchup right now that's part of the deal the big blocker on the big hitter that matchup much more important defensively to score points for Hawaii Hawaii in the black uniforms and over the top, a nice shot by number 10, Lance Walker, another senior. Pepperdine starting four seniors. Walker is from Sherman Oaks, California. And he will serve. Had a great semi against Ball State, as you see. Pepperdine, six jump servers. Five of them pounded. One has a, a, a funky float serve. That serve out of bounds. Remember, most people have said that serving is going to be a key for Pepperdine. How hard is it to serve in the championship match? Well, I think serving in the championships is a lot like teeing off at Augusta. I mean, you're going to lose some power, some consistency, and Pepperdine is a team that has won based on the strength of its serve all season long. It'll be very important, especially for Keenan, to come out composed. His serve was a non-factor to me in the semis. In 12 of the last 13 years, the winner of game one has won the national championship. The only exception, 1994, when Penn State lost the first game, but rallied back to beat UCLA. Kostas Tejo Herides, his career high in kills is 34. He's the all-time leading kill person for the university at 1,635, and he's only a junior. That's an ugly play, but it's legal on first contact. Down the line is Rooney, and Rooney chops it. Rooney. He's not big, according to Marv Dunphy, but he is tall and skinny and has a whip. <laughs> a whip of an arm, and it's amazing as a freshman what he's been able to do. Just a lot of veteran savvy and composure out here, playing in the biggest match of his life. Here's Brad Keenan, and Keenan really had some serving problems in the semi. He had no aces and six errors, and you're talking about the best server in the country. Yeah, this is a guy who had 65 aces on the season. Those are incredible numbers, but he's not serving with confidence in this building. Off the top and down. Another side out point for Lance Walker. And Hawaii backs up in serve receive. Technically, there are no more side outs. It's all point per play scoring. Set to serve Bo Daniels, a senior from League City, Texas. Great pass by Fern Podluski. And Theo Parides is stuffed by Walker. Set was a little bit low. And that will make us this mad. And watch number 10 as he comes out towards you, how low he goes, and then drifting out, but he turns that right hand in. A lot of times you'll get tooled if you're moving like that. Does a nice job with his timing. Normally, if you're the setter and you push it out there and you're one-on-one, -on -one, you've done the job. Not that time. So Pepperdine had a one-point lead for a moment. We're tied at six. This is the talented freshman, Delano Thomas. He's a freshman from Sacramento, and he rips the ace. And he truly is the X factor to me, Chris, because he did not appear in the first two matches against Pepperdine early in the year. He's a freshman, had some academic issues, sat out, and 
clearly you can see what a difference maker this freshman is. Great top spin jumper. Hawaii's going to try to attack Rooney Lowe, and there it is. Rooney Lowe, Mike Wilton was saying Rooney Lowe, and I said, what does that mean? Well, in front of him, make him bend down. He's 6'8". Yeah, make him move. The warrior liking it. The warrior flown in yesterday from university president for a little extra ump for this team. How about Delano Thomas's numbers in the semifinal? Bo Daniels back set. And that ball is on the line. Good spike by Sean Rooney. Rooney, a freshman from Wheaton, Illinois, one of the top recruits in the country. And the MPSF Conference Freshman of the Year. The last guy to do that, Tom Sorensen, back in 1990. And Rooney spins one to the net. So Pepperdine serving does not look good so far. Four service errors. That costs him four points. So Hawaii leads it 9-7 now. Remember, games are to 30 point per play. A. All Zemet with the serve. Over the top, Zemet, who is from Israel with a great dig. Joust coming up and over the top. Nice little tippy tap by Fred Winters. So Winters over the top. Winters has not played particularly well against Hawaii. Everybody else, he's done very well. Yeah, his numbers are quite low. He's had an amazing season. I think the most improved player on the squad, but doesn't like playing the Warriors. Good pass, and there he is. The animated, the dynamic, Dejan Miladinovic. He's from Kraljevo, Serbia. He can get jacked up. Yeah, known as a defensive specialist, but a great execution on the one play. It's a quick tempo attack, about one foot above the net. Timing is crucial. Big serve there by Kostis, and he serves it out. Mike Wilton was saying last night at a dinner that I saw him at that Kostas tried his big jump serve in the semifinal but did not feel confident. He whacked it out a couple times so we didn't see the, the burning jumper in the semi. I think another reason is Pepper, or excuse me, Penn State is known as not serving float serves very well. Kostas did that, it was a good scouting report. Good point. Tony Ching had the spike and off the hands. Another animated guy is Lance Walker. So Walker's off to a hot start. We're tied at 10. Nice five set, Bo Daniels, beautiful execution on the five, and Walker, a player that likes to play against Hawaii, averages about four kills per game in their previous pre three matchups. 18 kills the last time they met. Ching, and he puts it away. Ching, a junior from Honolulu. Now, he had a great first game against Penn State, and then kind of lost power, and they subbed him out a little bit later for Jose Delgado. Really a key, very talented player when he's got his confidence working. Well, in that position, that L2, sort of the second outside hitter, I think is going to be a difference maker for either one of these teams. Is it Fred Winters or Tony Ching that's going to step up and take some of the burden off the stars like Keenan and Theo Harides? Nice pass, nice and tight, and we love, you know, Keenan loves to run that slide. He was very effective against Penn State. It's hard to block the timing much different than most attempts. You have made the point, Heather, that not many men's teams run that play. Down the line, Theo Harides. And especially not a lot of West Coast men's yeah. teams. Penn State in the past was always known as having a little bit quicker, more sophisticated offense. Now Pepperdine taking a page out of that playbook. That was invented by the Chinese women. You know, men are usually not... That's a beautiful serve by Hawaii's Kimo Tuye, sophomore from San Diego, California. This thing just drops. And you've got to wonder why Olsen uses his hands. Get underneath it, pass it with your forearms. Use your platform to pass. Rooney with the drive. Sean Rooney pumps it through. He actually replaced Scott Wong in the lineup. Wong, a... Uh, Two-time All-America, and one of the reasons Pepper and I was picked so low at the start of the year. A lot of question marks early. More on that in a minute. Over the top, pretty good hit by Zemet. Dunk. 13-12, Hawaii leads it. And Ching drills one. Great distribution by the sophomore setter, Kimo Tuye, making smart decisions, really trying to utilize all his attackers in this first game and establish that, hey, we are going to go antenna to antenna. If you're Pepperdine, you're not going to be able to block us. Ching, big jumper, Bo Daniels, back set. Walker off the top. Ball was dug, but not controlled. Daniels sets left. Rooney, I'll tell you what, if you're playing defense on Rooney, you gotta move up, because he hits the ball with trajectory straight down. Yeah, he gets a lot of topspin, uses his wrist a lot. When you create that topspin, you get the ball to drop. Four kills now for the freshman. Here is Bo Daniels. Richard is his given first name, and Richard serves the ace. Grew up in Bay, uh, League City, Texas, two years at Pierce Junior College where he won the 
junior college national championship last year a serving specialist had an ankle injury and this year he has blossomed into one of the great setters in the country down the line nice dig 14 all and the put away chris van rusen pumps it through so a feeling out process here in game one the numbers one and two Ranked teams in the country, and right now, Pepperdine leading Hawaii by one at the moment. National Championship Volleyball, and we're live. Fans are going nutty. Early action, midway through game one. Pepperdine leading Hawaii, 15-14. Podluski with a perfect pass over to Kostas Theo Horides. That's a good matchup. Theo Horides, very mild-mannered. He's from Greece. He acts like a Russian, but he doesn't like being stuffed. And if you're going to block him, you've got to get all the way to the pin. You see he's got about three feet to work with there. I think if you're blocking Kostas, you have to take away that shot. That's our ninth tie. We've had four lead changes early. Here comes Walker, and Walker pumps it through. Walker is going to yell and scream in anybody's face that he blocks. And so if you're a hitter, you don't want that. So you got to get the ball by Walker, and hopefully you can stuff him before he gets you. And you know, the good news for Pepperdine fans right now, Lance Walker and Sean Rooney have combined for eight kills, not putting the pressure on their super stud, Brad Keenan. That was a bad pass by Hawaii. Hawaii serve receive going to be a key. Can they hold up to the big jump serving of Pepperdine? Here comes Rooney. He unravels. Passes off the net a bit. And Kostas over the top. Now, the scouting report on Kostas is that he likes to kind of junk the ball around on the left side. But he got blocked earlier, and he's bringing the heat. Well, this is a solid two block by Pepperdine. But look at how he crosses down cross court across his body. Gets right inside the middle block of Pepperdine. Zimet with the serve. Out of the back line, here comes Rooney. And Kostas thought he had it. Went off his hand straight down, but just out of bounds. And Rooney so far perfect. How about the freshman stepping into the biggest match of your life? Five kills on five swings. No intimidation. Rooney looks good so far. Costas tapping, yes. Costas now with six kills. You know, Costas is just starting to toy with Pepperdine. He's not predictable at all. You've seen just about every shot is different when he's swinging. Also very deceptive. You don't see that tip shot a lot in the men's game, but it's wide open. 18 to 17. Pretty good pass there into the middle. Miladinovic has yet to block one. And they don't jump. And hitting it straight down was Winters. Fred Winters from North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. There's Vern Podluski, one of the great liberos you will ever see, but the block, they got to they got to block that. Yeah, somebody's got to get two get blockers up, up. I mean, that the area that that found the court is what the block is supposed to take away. 19-18. Crucial game one. Here is Dejan Miladinovic. Graduated in December. He's going for his MBA in finance. Good serve. And the dig is going out of bounds. And Mila Dinovich not happy. He actually lost composure during the middle of that play, was talking to the officials, and then was out of position to dig the ball, still trying to talk to the officials about it. Marvin Hall is our first referee. And Bill Madera getting an ear fill from Dayon is down. Here comes Fred Winters, and he launches long. So Pepperdine, yeah, they're serving hard, but they're serving some balls out. That's the sixth service error. They're going to have to go to beat the Penn State intergalactic record, don't you think, <laughs> uh, Heather? I don't know if that's possible. 28 missed serves a year ago in the national semis by Penn State. Over the top, Rooney again. I had some question marks about Rooney, thinking, you know, he's a freshman, but he has come out. Questions. Wow, he looks like a young Pat Powers, the former USC and American star. He's 6'8", 200, and he owns it. And that is just a huge mistake in the game of volleyball. There's a couple things you never do. One of them is miss a serve after your teammates missed it. Even if you have to serve it underhand, just get the ball in play. Let your block score a point for you. Tony Chang ripping it. Great serve. Daniels on the run. And trying to wipe it off the block. No touch detected. Hawaii gets a point. Tied at 21. Game one to 30. The 10th tie in game one. And Pepperdine is going to take timeout. 
We're tied at 21. Hawaii still looking for its first stuff block. Will the Warriors get it? We'll find out when we come back. Here in University Park, Mer uh, Pennsylvania, Hawaii and Pepperdine tied in game one. Mike Wilton, the head coach of Hawaii, we asked him about bringing a title home to the islands. This is what he said. Volleyball is, is part of the, of the culture uh, for most people in Hawaii. It's a very popular sport. That's why we have big crowds and live television. And, and uh, it would be wonderful, you know, uh, for any volleyball team from Hawaii to win a national title. Um, it would be a very long party, I'm sure. There is Billy, Billy the Warrior, the, uh, the band leader of the Renegades. And uh, this group was flown in uh, specifically for this match, Heather Cox. Amazing. University president brought them in yesterday, took everybody that's with Hawaii's traveling party out to dinner last night and picked up the tab, no less. Evan Dobell, congratulations to him. That was a big tab also. The put away for Lance Walker. And we are seeing an offensive showcase so far in this match. Amazing that both teams have come out and executed so well. We've only seen three hitting errors by both teams combined in this entire game. Yeah, we've seen some service errors. We get plenty of that. <laughs> both teams hitting well over 500. That's just remarkable. Zemet, and it does not clear. Zemet playing on a little bit of a tweaked ankle. Turned it in the semifinal win and said there's no chance I'm missing it, but certainly not 100% right now. Net serve if it stays in. And be careful when you give line to Kostas. Well, how about the set? You've got to give a huge assist to Kimo Chuye. This set goes all the way out to the window. Look at that, about three feet of line. I mean, that is just perfection from the setter. Kostas taking advantage. Thomas with the serve. That could be a point. And slamming it down. That is what Hawaii really needs because the emotional engine of this team is Mila Dinovich. If he doesn't block, he doesn't yell, he doesn't open his mouth, he doesn't scream, and nobody gets pumped up. And it all starts with a great serving by Thomas, who already has two aces. If you're Pepperdine receiving the serve, you've got to put some bend in your elbows, pushing the ball a little bit. 23 all. Here comes Walker. Oh, they got him now. There he goes. The mouth that roared is working. Mila with the rope. Is he a young, well, is he a comparable man to Tim Hovland? He is the Hov. He looks like Tim Hovland. He jumps like Hovland. He blocks and he yells like the great Tim Hovland. Great strategy by, by Hawaii going after the freshman, Sean Rooney, who is struggling with his passing. Great serving by Thomas. He got him some points. We're tied at 24. Now he goes out and the libero wearing the different shirt comes in. The designated defensive digger. Can't hit, can't serve, can't block. Ching's pass is off the mark a little bit. And Milodinovich, that's not his set high middle. Hawaii passing just a little bit shaky, Heather. They need to be a little more precise, more pinpoint. Definitely. The better the pass, the more opportunities Tuye, the setter, has to run all three hitters. 12 ties, six lead changes, and another service error. Boy, Pepperdine's doing its part. The eighth service error. So, in point for play, how many points is that, Heather? Oh, uh, eight. Eight. Yeah, eight, eight points. points for you, Marlo. As uh, Pepperdine. Quick like a cat. Miladinovich stays in the front line along with Kosa. So, this is a good rotation for Hawaii. Into the middle and snapping it through was Chris Van Rusen. Now, Van Rusen had a very shaky semifinal hit negative 154. He'd like to do better. And better passing allows Pepperdine to run the middle. You see how far Van Rusen stays off the net so he can keep the ball in front of him. Watch this. He sees the ball and he sees the hands of the blockers and the defense so he can hit right by. Pepperdine by a point here in game one. Best three out of five. Pretty good pass there. Left in that edge. Both setters taking advantage of the good passes when they get them because they've been few and far between. But on a good pass, you're going to see both teams running their middles. Mila Dinovich absolutely huge against Penn State. Look for them to try and establish him in the middle. 26 all to 30. Have to win by two. Daniels back set way across and going right over the top is Lance Skywalker. He's got six kills. Nice high five set. What the setter does is redirect the ball. Everybody's moving to the far side of the court. Bo Daniels redirects it to the right side. Here comes Mike Gledhill into the match, number four, the LA City Player of the Year in 2000 from Taft High School. Same high school that produced Marv Dunphy. Over the top, Chun Ching, Tony Ching. 
blasts on a tight line set. Wow. And I can't say enough about the setting by Kimo Tuye. You know, he's just a sophomore. Really a big question mark. How composed would he be under so much pressure? But so far, quarterbacking a flawless match. I'll tell you, that was a pretty good shot by Ching. Ball is dug, coming back over. Rooney pops it up. And snapping it through was Brad Keenan. Keenan's been kind of quiet. He's a junior, 6'8", 215 from Westminster, California. Well, that's just the fourth time that they've been able to run their offense to Keenan. He hasn't gotten a lot of looks. I think he needs to take about six to seven swings a game to be a factor. Fred Winters, can he get a serve in? He does. Tuye sets left, Ching again. This is exactly what Ching did in game one. He looked like an All-America on the left side. Four big kills. And look at this, all this from a shoulder that had surgery. He wasn't even 100% in swinging the ball until about a month ago, but a huge seam in the block. 28 all, they block Keenan. Pepperdine scrambling a little bit. Can they block Rooney? No, Rooney sneaks it under the block. Down the arms. So Sean Rooney having a huge game, one with seven kills. And yet to make a hitting error. I mean, this is just historic so far. First game point for Pepperdine. Podluski handles heat. Set left, trouble, cement. Oh, might have been a field goal right through the arms of Van Roosen. He's saying that should have been three points. It buzz cut my head. 29 all. Now, Hawaii has it. The 17th tie in game one in Hawaii is going to call timeout. So Mike Wilton wants to talk it over with his squad, perhaps get the uh, serving target. Well, I like it. You figure out exactly who you want to serve, but more importantly, what your blocking strategy is. And suddenly you're in a must win by two situation, basically a game to two right now. So you want to score on the opportunity to serve. Get your block up, let your defense score a point. Back in 1992, Marv Dunphy's Pepperdine Waves. We're looking for the national championship with Tommy Sorensen. And that was it. Sorensen putting the ball away. That's the last time Pepperdine won a national championship. A disappointed Ruben Nieves, a dis disheartened Stanford team. But what a squad that was. 11 appearances, four time champions. All-time record 15 and 6. Interestingly, Mark Dunphy has won three. Do you know who won the other championship as the coach? Of Rod Pepperdine? Wild. Rod Wild. Rod sure. Wild got it. Rod Wild. You know what's also interesting about Pepperdine? That 86 title that they won was right here on this floor. Won at Penn State, upset University of Southern California. USC had game point, match point yep. against Marv Dunphy's squad. So they like it here. They like the the mojo they feel here in Rec Hall. 14 to 11. Costas Theo Herides has moved into the front line. As you can see, there hasn't been much defense. Been a lot of hitting, a lot of offense. And now the crucial part of game one. 29 all. They go outside to the freshman. Get it to Rooney. He's been perfect. In oh, that. and Chang out of the timeout. Trying to get it to Rooney. And is squeaking it in now. Now Pepperdine will have its second game point. Serving will be Bo Daniels. Lolly pops it in. Great pass. Set left. Theo Herides is under, and that is going to be it for game one. That's set way too tight. And Pepperdine has won game one, 31-29. And how disappointing if you're Hawaii. You hit 52% in the game and then lose it on two unforced mental errors back-to-back -back and give that one away. Along with Heather Cox, I'm Chris Marlowe. Welcome back to the men's Volleyball National Championship. We're on the campus of Penn State University and Pepperdine squeaking out a win 31 29. And we saw incredible offense by both teams. Both hit right about, well, Hawaii hit 46%, Pepperdine 63%. If you're Pepperdine, you got to wonder how can we lose? We gave them eight points off of service errors and still came away with the victory. Look at the low amount of hitting errors. Just great execution offensively by both teams in game one. You don't normally have freshmen step up and play great in national championship matches. Well, how about Sean Rooney's game one? I mean, that's a no hitter right there. I mean, he is perfect so far. The question is, can it continue? He well, I'm, not sure if it's a no it. I'm not sure if it's a no hitter, but it's certainly a perfect game. The perfect uh, seven kills and hitting 1,000. Winner of game one has won 12 of the last 13, 22 of 32.
So how will Hawaii respond? What does Hawaii have to do better? Give me, give me three things that Hawaii can do better. I think they need to serve a little bit tougher. Okay. They've been consistent, but they're not going after it, and they're not taking the passing game away. I think Bo yes. Daniels is setting his offense flawlessly, getting all of his hitters involved. Also, the blocking game has to take over okay. for Mila Dinovich. Just one team block. Game Just one. one. Just one, yeah. Over the top, nice shot by Fred Winters. Winters uh, 125 in the semifinal, as Heather detailed, very much improved. Hit just 170 last year as a starter. And here comes the jump, jump floater from Chris Van Rusen. And setting Miladinovich, and right there was Keenan. And Pepperdine under Marv Dumpy has always been known as being, their trademark really has been their block. It's a matchup block, but you know on a perfect pass, they're gonna try and go to Miladinovich. Good read by Pepperdine. Over the top. Daniel socks it up. 2-1 early in game two. And good spike by Tony Ching. So Ching has five kills. Played at Kamehameha High School. Head coach Pono Ma'a, one of the great uh, Hawaiians of yesteryear. Pono Ma'a. That was a great name to call a spike from. And that's a big serve. That could be a point coming up. Tuye shoves it outside, Ching, oh, and Marvin Hall says lift. Now, if you're an All-American setter, you may get, get away, away with that, that but you're Marvin Dustin Hall. You're Dustin and nobody's blowing the whistle on you. Right. But hey, if you're a little sophomore, you're getting the call. Yeah, Tuye, uh, a sophomore, and so he gets called for the ball handling error. And the serve out of bounds. So Pepperdine, the service error from Walker, that's nine service errors and Dejan Miladinovic will serve it. Popped up, winners over the top, dug up, chance to turn a point. Kostas, keeping it in, did not have a good swing. Out of the back line, Walker is rejected. Thomas was there and Ching was there. That's exactly what Hawaii needs. Good timing, good read on the back row attack. What Daniels needs to do is overload that side so the block can't just camp out on Walker. Back row attack and no. Mila Dinovich with the ace. Now he kind of guided that one in, Heather, right on the back line. Hawaii serving much more aggressively here in game two. Going after Rooney. And the slam dink by Daniels. So Bo Daniels, who's been working exclusively with Jeff Stork and Harlan Cohen, two of the great setting coaches of all time, the two assistants, or two of the assistants for Pepperdine. And has he blossomed this year, Heather? You can't ask for a better coaching staff than that if you're a setter. Yeah. Kind of like training under Debbie Green if you're in the women's game. Faye Horinis goes over the top. Okay, Marv Dunphy's in the middle, the blue coach. Jeff Stork is to his left, our right. And there's Rick McLaughlin. Harlan Cohen did not make the trip. He doesn't travel now. Harlan, a veteran, a KG veteran, but he's watching back in Santa Monica. We wish Harlan the best. Wish he was here. And Thomas with a little thunder. Theo Haridis, Miladinovic, the big two, the one-two punch. But why needs production from those auxiliary guys, yeah. Chang and Thomas and all those guys? The key is having a third gun. Who is yeah. going to step up? Is it Ching or Thomas or Zimet, who's been quiet yeah. so far in this match? Yeah, Hawaii's well, kind of like the Lakers. You got Shobie, Kobe and Shaq, but you need Where's your Rick Fox? You need Fox. You've got to get Fox in there. Fisher's got to make a couple of jumpers. 6-6. <laughs> six, six. Game two, Pepperdine won the first, and Keenan, about the only thing he has done well in this tournament is serve. The tenth service area, he had six in the semifinal. He's already got two today, so his confidence is basically shot zero aces in the tournament. Ching, but he gets served there, and a shoot set. Nice block by Zemet. Here comes Rooney, not afraid to take a swing, and I think Thomas was in the middle of that. Did he get it? We shall see. Might have been two, yay. And Rooney's no-hitter is over. First mistake by the freshman of the match. Up against a triple block, you just need to take a smarter swing. Hits right into the hands of Hawaii. Well, Thomas was there, two, yay. Zemet, the whole game. Podluski pops it up, Hawaii, 8-6. Popping it up is Olsen. Rooney again. Rooney's going cross-court. Podluski with a great dig. Theo Haridis, he's not hitting with steam over there. Got to pop it. And the spike is out of bounds for Walker. 
Now, Walker and Daniels, while this is their first year starting together, have played together for years. They've got that chemistry, played two years together at Pierce Community College, won a state championship together. Daniels very comfortable going to the right side of the court, and Lance Walker. Hawaii fans have come alive. They've lost game one, but the Warriors on the roll here in game two. Can Mike Wilton's squad keep it going, or will Mark Dunphy's group rebound? Stay with us. We'll find out. Hawaii won. Hawaii lost game one, 31 29. The uh, Warriors leading here in game two, 9 6. The president of the University of Hawaii has flown in, Evan Dobell, the man who picked up the check. You got to give him congratulations for Mike Wilson. Mike Wilton in his 10th year. There's a rumor that he is the leading candidate for the BYU head job opening up, and that might clear the way for Tina Reyes, his number one assistant, to take over. If that scenario works out, you think there's a chance of that? I think there's a strong chance. Mike Wilton is a, is a nice match for BYU. Carl McGowan won two titles there, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's heading to Provo pretty soon. That would be a shock to the uh, Hawaiian Islands uh, to lose Mike Wilton, uh, but he is certainly a tremendous coach and well-respected. So we'll she see went if on that. A recruiting trip to visit Mike Wilson when he was the head coach at Cal Poly. And you didn't go there, did you? Did not, but still a great coach. Yeah, you probably should have gone there. <laughs> Would have won a national championship. No, I wouldn't. I didn't win any when I was. <laughs> well, you didn't win they any went, either, did you? No, <laughs> oh, sorry. <tough> proud. <laughs> Ten I seven. We go in there. Mike Wilton says I'll of his big back. man Delano Thomas ask me about the national championships even get me back on that one. Oh there's an ace for Thomas. Thomas three aces now on the night and they are just attacking the freshman Sean Rooney and I think that's a great strategy by Coach Wilton. Look at how hard it is for Rooney to pass at 6 8 it's hard to get down that low but he's got to be on his toes a little bit more. The strategy to serve Rooney low Daniels goes up and gets it and snapping it through is Walker. Boy, you love the emotionalism of your walker, but if you're a Hawaii, you got to stuff him and shut him up if you can. Yeah. Shut down the two emotional yeah. ones, definitely. Big block moving in on the inside, but Walker keeps the ball in front of him, sees the hands. Duye sets left, and Theo Harides has gone cold, and Pepperdine gets the block. Let's check uh, Theo Harides. He's got eight kills, two in this game. You know, I talked to a lot of coaches about him, and they said Costas isn't flashy the whole time, but he knows when his team needs him, and he scores in crucial situations. Here it is right here, crucial. That's heat, baby. Chasing it is Pepperdine. Back, 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 and it's out of bounds. Now, that's the kind of heat he can bring. Sometimes he kind of junks it around over there, but he has got a rocket for an arm when he unloads. Costas has led his team in kills in all but four matches this year and just takes huge swings. He doesn't have kind of that George Romain type of body, but he's a smart player with a textbook arm swing. And he is intense. First team All-American, didn't get player of the year. That honor went to Brad Keenan. They're both here. The last two players of the year and putting it through. Right, Mila Dinovich was right on that quick set and did not block it. Fourth kill for Chris Van Rusen. Offensively, something Pepperdine needs to do with Mila Dinovich in the front row. They've got to swing down the line. Don't hit into Mila Dinovich's hands. I don't think you ever want to hit cross court when you're going up against the best blocker in the country. We're wiping up the floor. We're playing on sport court, of course, the volleyball surface of the new millennium. Chris Marlowe and Heather Cox, game two. It's a good luck. A great uh, weekend here at Penn State. Mark Pavlik and the rest of the Penn State uh, people should be congratulated. A fantastic uh, experience. Pretty good block there. And the small contingent of Pepperdine uh, fans uh, come alive. Walker with good timing. This is just predictable offense. Keenan does a nice job getting outside after reading blocking in the middle. Yeah, Walker's doing a lot of screaming at Costas Theo Herides and Pepper. <laughs> Look at Walker. He's just going nutty. He got another block. 12-12. Walker's got three. All season long, Pepperdine known as a great blocking team. Look at the triple block. You need to be a smarter attacker. Go with the roll shot to the corners. Miladinovich is blocked with Pepperdine blocking great. Here comes Zemet. Nice shot. Hail Zemet. He's a junior from Israel. Dual citizenship. He was recommended to Hawaii by his buddy who lived five minutes away from him in Israel, Yuval Kotz. Of course, Kotz may be the greatest player Hawaii has ever had. I would agree with that. And the serve into the net. 
Zemet trying to make the most of his minutes, but he is hampered by that sprained ankle. And Mike Sondheimer, our stat man, telling us that was just the first kill for Zemet. So auxiliary players have to step up. Nine's getting some work out of their guys. Chang, nice shot. Set a little bit inside. And Chang puts it away. Six kills for Tony Ching. And that's the best way to neutralize Pepperdine's block, and I think Tuye doing a nice job, even distribution with his offense, so that they're not predictable at all. That's a touch. That's, this is the kind of play you have to turn. Left side, Ching again. Pepper, I don't think a Y is going to stuff a lot of Pepperdine balls, but what they need to do is just get those touches and then right. turn it. If you get those soft touches, it takes some of the heat off the ball, makes it much easier to control, and then you're scoring points in transition, which you talk to any coach and they say points in transition is absolutely crucial. Timeout on the floor of the national championship on the deuce will continue. Hawaii up by a couple. 31, 29, 15, 13, Philly the Warrior. I tell you, right before we came on live, he was screaming in Heather Cox's ear, and Heather was actually smiling about it, <laughs> trying to get Heather pumped up. These guys are intense. All the way from the islands to cheer on their Warriors. Keenan is rejected. Tony Ching. Got the pause over. Great scouting by Coach Wilton, knowing that Keenan loves to ride the slide, especially out of a timeout on a good pass. You've got to commit on Brad Keenan. Shoot, he's the player of the year. Why not? Chang is doing the job. Set left and into the net. And Hawaii, I think, you know, I think Hawaii is doing it. They're jumping a little bit later. And so they're not coming down now. And the, they're not starting to touch quite us. As much. Absolutely. Hawaii with its biggest lead of 17 13. Tony Chang. Starting to hit, starting to touch. Here comes Keenan, and Keenan is mad, so he rips one through. And you know, Chris, if you're going to serve short when Keenan's in the front row, serve to the right side of the court so that you get in the way, get in those traffic patterns of Keenan trying to run that slide. That couldn't have been a better serve for Keenan. Good point. Winners down the line. Podlewski right on the money! And Delano Thomas with a little tunder. Wow. The best serve. A perfect pass, Vern Podluski. There's ever been a better libero. I've yet to seen him. Watch this. Podluski needs to step oh. in and take as many as he can. That is perfection. And how about Thomas, the freshman? Three kills on three swings. This is a player who did not play the first two times <laughs> these teams met, and he is the difference. And give a little credit to Kimo Tuye to make that play and Bo Daniels with the tappy right back. You can't forget about Daniels. He won't do that a lot. He had two kills in four attempts in the semi. Won't do it a lot. But if you watch the blockers, they're all talking, saying setters up, two hitters. I've got the dump. Anytime that ball is tight, you have to jump. Rooney, ball dug. Pepperdine on the attack. It's 18-15 Hawaii. Back set. Podluski is there again, digging lips. Left side, Zemet. And it's blocked. That's a tough chance for Hawaii because Zemet is not tall. He's only 6'2", and hitting against a two-man block, really not his forte. Yeah, in those rallies, in the off plays, when all you have is your outlet for the high outside, Pepperdine's block is just too good. And Keenan going to get another rebound basket. Keenan's not serving that hard, but Hawaii passing it over the net. So the first two points in the Keenan serve rotation, and Hawaii takes time out. And if you're wondering why Kimo Tuye is not jumping to block those overpasses, he's in the back row as a setter. He's standing at the net, but he's in the back row, which means he cannot do anything. He's completely helpless in those plays. So Hawaii still leading by a point. 18 to 17. Of course, uh, Pepperdine, the favorite coming in. Pepperdine had beaten. Hawaii three times this year and a little bit earlier we asked Dunphy about the significance of beating Hawaii three times. Is that good or bad? The fact that we've beaten him three times uh, that doesn't mean too much. Uh, I think it means a little bit in terms of confidence on our side but uh, they're a solid team with great experience especially at outside hitting with uh, Theo Carides and Zemet. Uh, tremendous uh, uh, international and collegiate experience. Pepperdine leads the series 26-17, and 
Pepperdine winning all the matches, but Hawaii getting closer in each match, and tonight's uh, played on a neutral court. And that could be the differentiator. In their previous meetings, Pepperdine outserved and outblocked the Warriors. I think blocking was the biggest key stat, the most telling stat. Hawaii's offense was pretty much non-existent. The last time they met, only two players hit over 300, both of their middles. That's not going to get it done. You know, Marv's an outstanding coach, but he's having a little trouble pronouncing Theo Haridi's last name, <laughs> isn't he, Heather? I'm going to have to straighten him out. It's not his job. He's <laughs> you know, number nine. Much easier that way, coach. Keenan out of the timeout. 18-17. Zimet, and that's going to drop. Uh, Rooney. Rooney kind of loped in there, took a look at it and said, forget that, I'm going to hit. I'm going to go back hitting duty. Give the uh, kill, to, kill to Zimet. 19-17, you have to think a must win game for Hawaii. Van Rusen, ball dug, nice. Podluski goes and gets it. Nobody there to hit it. There's Van Rusen inside. No, over to Rooney and Rooney hit it out. If you hit the ball into the antenna that go up, those antennas originally were fishing poles invented by the late Jim Coleman. Did you know that? I did. Jim Coleman, right really in the there. father of volleyball, or one of the forefathers, and Sean Rooney. How about that? You know, the freshman's starting to get worn down a little bit because of Hawaii's strategy. They're serving him so many balls that he's having to do a lot and carry quite a heavy responsibility for this, this Pepperdine team. So the Waves with uh, four titles. They've won 17 straight. You know, Pepperdine right now has the confidence. We've talked about the serious history between these two teams, but Pepperdine comes in, the number one team in the country. They've won 17 consecutive matches. Their last loss way back in the beginning of February to UOP in five games. So this is a team that wants to go out winning 18 straight, playing with a lot of confidence. Pepperdine hit 625 in game one. The Waves are hitting 136 here in game two. So. Mike Wilton's squad has done a much better job defensively, and Hawaii leads it 2017. Must win for the Warriors. Here comes Rooney again. Good soft touch again. Free ball. Touye back set. Zemet. And Zemet puts it away. So everybody going over looking for Theo Harides, and Touye faked him out. Yeah, Touye again going against the grain, going against the momentum. Everybody leaning to the right. He goes over to the left, and Zemet, when it comes to him, getting it done. Rooney set travel a little outside. Hawaii by four. Here comes Walker. Is that legal? Yes. Scooping it up. Podluski pumps it over. Pepperdine doesn't like it. Here comes Rooney. See ya. Sean Rooney. They taught him out of the pass in the last couple of years. He's really got to be a good player. Nice quick set to the outside. Finds the gap. Just one blocker up. Thomas stays in the middle and commits on Van Rusen. Good pass into the middle. Thomas, nice dig. Winners. Winners calling for it. No. Send it over to Walker, who snaps it off the block. Well, I tell you, you can talk about uh, Keenan all you like, but Winters and Walker, those two guys just pummel the ball all the time. And it's about who else steps up. Who's going to give the support? Already nine kills now for Skywalker. 21 19. Pepperdine trying to close in. Daniels. Nice pass there. Thomas scooped it out. But right there was Van Rusen. Van Rusen from Huntington Beach. A couple of brothers that played at BYU. He gets the stuff. So Van Rusen playing much better than he did in the semifinal. And suddenly it's 21 20. So it's a nervous time for Hawaii. They need a point right here, a put away. Passes off the net. Here comes Kostas. And Kostas blasts high. He's going to try out for the Greek Olympic team. Not sure he's got enough to get on that team. That team in 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 training, of course, the uh, 2004 Olympics in Athens, Greece. But he knows a lot of guys on the squad. Going to give it a whirl. You know, he's starting to get a little fired up. I see the stink guy getting thrown yep. around from Costas. Well, because every time he gets blocked, Walker is just shouting in his face. And he doesn't look happy right now. In fact, he looks mad, and he can go in two directions. And he's a veteran. Look for him to take, you know, to really just elevate, feel, you know, really feed off of that fire. 22 21 Hawaii back on top. Pretty good pass. Two eight back set. Zimet, nice shot. Zimet has come a lot. Five kills for A. All Zimet. Zimet not getting a ton of looks, but really making the most of the touches he's getting. And 
I like his game. Three double doubles on the year. Good all around player. Great serve by Zemet. Chance for Hawaii and going under. So Zemet has come alive. And Zemet talking it up a little bit. He has got five kills all in this game. That would you give him an ace on that? I give him an ace. You asking Michael? You asking me? Our stat man says uh, Michael Sandra. I give him an ace, but the official guys won't because it hit another body. But it was an effective serve. 24-21 Hawaii. Over the top is winners. Great dig by Ching. Tuye sets left. Here goes Costas. Off speed. Costas got to take a rip at that one. Big block. Miladinovic in the middle of it. Got to take a smart swing. Watch Winters. The ball gets behind his head. Watch the movement. Three black shirts all in unison. The ball behind Winters' head. He has no idea he's up against a triple block. Need to have better vision. Mila Dinovich loves to block. Hitting is okay, according to Mike Wilton. Okay. Doesn't get too excited about that, but he loves to block. And that one off to Ye. Nice turn by Fred Winters. Second year starter, great double double in their most recent win over the Warriors. 18 kills, 12 digs. Serving is Van Rusen, who's got the jump floater. Good pass. Zemet is hot. Nice dig by Rooney. Daniels, scoopy high. That's a hard swing. Winters. Well, I like Winters' aggressiveness. But That's just impossible, though. You gotta play smart. Mila Dinovich got the stuff. His third. We're at Recreation Hall, the home of Penn State University along with former Pacific star Heather Cox. I'm Chris Marlowe. Pepperdine won game one, 31-29. Why leading here in game two, 26-22. And nearly getting there was Chang. Give the kill to Walker. Walker's racking him up. He's in double digits. He's got 10 to lead all spikers. Yeah, earlier in this game, Hawaii was getting the soft blocks off the Pepperdine attacks. Now Pepperdine's starting to tool off the hands and score points off the Hawaii block. Mike Gledhill is in. The coaches say he's got a dorky floater. A dorky floater. <laughs> nice. Let's see it. A Valley kid from Tarzana. There it is. And it was dorky. Did not clear the net. So we saw the funky floater from Nate Matthews, the Penn State guy, and the dorky floater needs a little bit more elevation. You know, an inch higher, and that's an ace, and he's a hero. Yeah, people are loving the dorky yeah. floater. And Hawaii. Wow. Tough serving chance there. Mila Dinovich misses it. And it's 27 24. Nice set by Kimo Tuye. Taking great, a chance. Great variety that time. Calling the play. The setter will go up at the net and call all the hand signals, call the plays. This time it's a back one or an A to Thomas. It just really fakes the block out. They think they're going in front and last minute goes behind. Nice pass for Olsen. Rooney hit a thousand in game one. He's hitting zero here in game two. That's a low set and he still got it by. He sizzled the pits of Delano Thomas. Thomas Hare on fire. Wow, how did Rooney get that through? Heather, the cross court crank. Sizzle. Ten. Great read, great drop of the shoulder at the last minute. Hawaii trying to get a win here and a big serve by Keenan. Keenan's Hawaii's got, got a one timeout left and Mike Wilton is going to take it. Try to ice the server. Keenan, the top server in the country. Smart timeout by Mike Wilton. So Hawaii. Let's check out the Hawaii plays for some of the good ones tonight. They've had a little bit of serving, Heather. And a whole lot of offense. Setting a nice distributed balanced attack and then their blocking game really started to take charge at the beginning of game two and it's all about the emotion for Mila Dinovic. Thomas the freshman stepping up big from the service line. You know, Mike Wilton has gone recruiting overseas. A couple of the reasons why. Volleyball budgets are low, so recruiting on the mainland very expensive. In the past, many it's of the Hawaiian stars, many of the Hawaiian stars have gone over to the mainland to play. So he hasn't gotten all the great Hawaiian players. But in terms of recruiting international guys, all you do is get a tape. Get you get a, a tape, tape, you send some emails. And That's how we got uh, Miladinovic. He saw the tape, knew he wanted him. Same with Theo Harides. And you've got to go with what got you there. So these uh, 
these foreign guys have been very, very good to Hawaii, all going all the way back to uh, some of the great ones they've had. And, you know, I think that's uh, one of the big reasons that Mike Wilton might make a change and go to BYU if that opportunity has afforded him a lot easier to recruit to BYU than it is to Hawaii. I'll tell you what, that just sounds incongruous, Heather Cox, that it's easier People to recruit to, but... to uh, Provo, Utah, than it is to the lovely islands of Hawaii. And that serve is an ace, so we come out of the timeout. They tried to ice Keenan. It didn't work. He comes back and rips an ace down the line, his first. How about that? The first ace of the entire tournament. Brad Keenan's serve has been entirely ineffective until now. He couldn't have picked a better time. He's ripping him now, Chris. Biggest spike of the game right here. Zimet tips it. Pepperdine on the attack, sets left Rooney. And Rooney puts it away. Sean Rooney, Hawaii led 28 to 24. In both of these games, Hawaii started off strong, and then when when it comes to crunch time, they're just making the metal errors. Keenan ripping it now. Here comes Ching, and Ching gets a huge kill off the block out of bounds. You know, I think a win in any game would really loosen the Hawaii players up, and this could be it. The serve is crucial. Don't forget, game one missed serve on game point. Ching has got to get it in. Got to make it look pretty good. Oh, oh he served it out again. Wow, he had one in game one, and that one flying long. The first one in game one went short into the net. Besides that, Ching has played brilliantly. You gotta shake it off. 29 all, Daniels. He starts it out back at you. Tony Ching says, okay, next guy up, get it in. And the Thomas has been the top server of this match. Three aces already for Delano Thomas. Second game point for the Warriors. Theo Reedy's in the front line. Back set, Reedy, and it's over! Mila Dinovich was there, Theo Reedy's was there, and we're tied at one game of ace. Now I know what you mean by uh, getting you back. Wow. Back to volleyball. I think Chris is speechless. That's right. Game two, you know. You know, I had some trouble getting women back in those days. Do you, you see any reason why? Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> you look like the cowardly lion. I'll tell you, those are some good times. Fight you with one hand tied behind my back. All right, well, let's start game three, Heather Cox. Uh, statistically, after game two. To me, the biggest difference for Hawaii was the support that they got from Zemet, Ching, and Thomas combined for 13 kills. Also, Pepperdine continues to have some service woes, 12 now in the match. And I thought that uh, that Hawaii got a lot of uh, contribution from their auxiliary guys, like Chang, like Thomas, like Zemet. Yeah, they really stepped up. A lot of balance, a lot of diversity makes it impossible to key on any one person. There he is, the young Tim Hovland blocking away Hawaii getting a little perk here and you got to feel good after you've gotten one game now they can just play relaxed and play their game two year back set and Costas sneaks it through they kind of feel a surge uh, the little guys on the drums are beating a little harder the, the volleyball players are are, are pumped up the well, fans are jacked if you're a player for Hawaii you're looser you're playing with more confidence more just free abandon and you can tell Costas are ripping it on the service line and Hawaii gets the point. And the call out of bounds, you have to stay on the sport court. Your foot has to be touching, have contact with the sport court when you contact Why the ball. Why do they have that rule? Uh, that's you ridiculous You know, it's because rule. of danger. It's about right. an inch off of the wooden floor. Here's a look as they're going off the yeah. sport court. You cannot be in the air. You have to actually have contact upon contact. Here Let's it is see. again. They just don't want you to get hurt. If he had kept his foot okay. rather than jumped, it would have been legal. So Mark Dumpy said, hey, the floor got us on that one, boys. Uh, don't worry so much. Although Hawaii has gotten off to a good start. So game three, we're tied one game apiece, and Hawaii has roared out of the gate. Can they keep it up? Stay with us. They have blown the whistle. They are ready to play. And popping it through is Fred Winters. Winters fires that through. 
First time in World Series history, every game is going to be televised live, and we'll give you all the information on that a little bit later. Chris Marlowe and Heather Cox, this is game three for the national championship. Pepperdine has won four in its history. Hawaii has never won a national championship in any sport. In men's competition, of course, the women's team has won four national championships, and you definitely feel a surge of momentum has shifted to the Warriors. Definitely. Mike Wilton has coached a brilliant strategy, and I'm surprised that Marv Dunphy hasn't flip-flopped his rotation. Brad Keenan, the player of the year, has not been as effective as they'd like, and I think the biggest reason is he's matched up two out of three rotations with the best blocker in the country, Dayan Miladinovic, here off the slide, tries to tool and get the touch, and does gets it to drop on the line. Five three. Odluski can Tuya get there? Socking it up. Kosis keeps it in, and Keenan says, "I'll put that away." Keenan says to uh, Kosis, "Nice set, good bump yeah. set." Thanks, buddy. Talking about the hitters, I love his stance as he gets ready. Look at him; he looks like he's just salivating, waiting for that block. That passes too high. It's going to be another point. No! Tony Ching digs it up and calls for it. Ching out of the back line, and he is blocked. I'll tell you what, Brett Keenan, you get the feeling that he's starting to come alive here. Got a little momentum with some serves in game two. And this is a rotation he has to be effective. This is the one rotation he's going up against the freshman. Delano Thomas rotates to the front row. He's got to take advantage of the inexperience. Thomas goes behind, back set. Here comes Costas. And Costas off the back set. Boy, if Hawaii can get that pass, they can really move. Theo Haridis now with 12 kills. They mentioned that he lived five minutes from the great Yuval Kotz. Kotz only played two years at Hawaii, but he averaged 7.8 kills per game, Heather. Seven, almost eight kills those per game. Those are Marlowe-like numbers. Well, those are, those are Marlowe and Cox numbers combined, combined on a good day. with Sondheimer <laughs> thrown in. Kimo Tuye serving. That's coming over the net. Pretty good block by Daniels. He's allowed to do that because he's in the front line. And Walker pops it through. Huge Walker. numbers from the opposite position. In the men's game, that opposite position crucial. Has to be a large percentage of your offense. I'll tell you what, Podluski's having some trouble now. He's passed a couple over the net. He shanked that one, and Keenan Keenan's serve is really on now. He's well, got how many aces? Two aces, but a couple of errors. And look at this. Hawaii's gone to a four-person serve receive against that jump serve. Nice take by Pepperdine. We're tied at seven. Off the top, and the ball hits Marvin Hall and disappears. There's a good look at dancing Marvin Hall of ABP Beach Volleyball fame. Marvin up tonight. Just celebrated his uh, 46th birthday the other day. And that one goes out of bounds. I tell you what, I think one of the keys for Hawaii in this match now, I've got it compartmentalized. If they can withstand Keenan's jump serve and not give up three or four every time, they've got a great chance to win. And also neutralize him in the front row with his matchup against Dale, against uh, Dale Miladinovic. Yeah. I think that is crucial because what Hawaii's doing right now, they're not getting a lot of points against the rotation when Keenan and Rooney are both in the front row. They're rotating yeah. right out of that. Left side, that's trouble, it's tight. Pretty good up by Thomas. Double contact, that's no good. Now the reason that's no good, Heather, you know, he's not blocking there, Gotta he's just blocking. trying to push it over. Rooney, good to, good attempt for him. He was blocking that, he could have got away with it, but no, he was spiking it. And here comes Delano Thomas, been invited to try with the junior national team. This is a kid with limited potential. Off the top. Thomas with a dig. Perfect passing position. Here comes Costas. And Costas puts it away. And that's a good sign for Hawaii fans because that was a very predictable attack. There wasn't even a middle available. Everybody knew it was going high outside, but still nobody stops Costas. And sneaking it through, Miladinovic didn't get outside. You know, talking about Delano Thomas, when you talk to anybody from Hawaii or anybody anywhere, they say, uh, yeah, he's going to be a great young player. Have you noticed how long his arms are? He's got the wingspan of like a seven-foot player. Yeah, it's like a 7-2 wingspan. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of Elena Odin, just the longest arms, almost, you know, hanging down at your side, almost down to your knees. It's remarkable. Mila Dinovich gets big stuff. hands, too. Now, you're wondering why he's out. Well, he exchanges with Podluski, the libero. 
And then when Podlewski gets to the front line, he will come back in. Is he met? I think I'd be setting Z met a little bit more. He came alive in game two. Really a stable person. A veteran of the Israeli army, dual citizenship, the United States and Israel. 11 all. And when you got a hot hitter, you got to ride him. Nice serve. Rooney digs it out. Comes Walker. And that's a pretty good block. Miladinovic. Oh, huge play by Daniel. Straight up, you got a block. Free ball. 11 all. Hawaii can take the lead. Ching sinks it through. Tony Ching. I'll tell you what. For a 6-2 guy, he can rip. Got a lot of heat. You know, and he's playing that L2, really the secondary outside attacker. But he has come through for this team. Every time they've needed him in big points, he has been a performer. Near ace. It is an ace. For L. Summit. The captain of the squad. Boy, if you can hit it there every time. Remember those net serves in play since 2000. New international rule. Seven aces now for Hawaii. The serving has picked up. Pretty good pass there. On the road it is Winters and Winters. Winters now with nine kills. Theo Haridis leads Hawaii with 13. Ching has 10. Thomas with four. Samet has six. Hawaii by a point. And Mila Dinovic. You notice that Mila Dinovic, he never celebrates on a hit. Never on a kill. He doesn't worry about that. that you see the mouth. Yeah. Mike Wilton said he only goes to the mouth. He only goes to the heavy celebration when he blocks one. That's what he really likes to do. Costas. And Costas just having trouble getting the trajectory, getting that ball to come down. And yeah. not getting the wrist snap on it. Yeah. And he's also, he should toss it a little bit higher. He's, it's almost like he's rushing it, hitting it flat rather than on top of it. Maybe. Well, interestingly now, Lance Walker is float serving. So maybe, uh, oh! And Tony Ching. Wow. And that may be one of the great hits of his career right there. I don't think it could be any more perfect. The great pass, high outside, just floating, hanging up there like oh. a hot air balloon, waiting for him. Watch how high he gets up, too, and the shoulder rotation, the torque he gets. Nothing better than just sizzling it down the line. So Tony Ching gives the Warriors a point. 11 kills. The only thing Ching hasn't done well is serve. You know, and a couple Tony of Ching, serves go awry. In the three times that they met previously, hit 175. That's just 17%, a lot like a baseball batting percentage. That is just not good. Well, he has changed his tune tonight. He has been very important on the opposite position, and we talked about the fact that he and Bo Daniels have played together for four years, and it shows Daniels very comfortable going to Walker on the left side and the right side, and he's been very efficient with his defense as well, lining up on the block. And most importantly, firing this team up. I mean, the emotion that you're seeing now, 12 kills, 29% out of Walker. But the emotion something that doesn't show up on the stat line, and that's probably the most important to this team right now. Back to the action. Hawaii leading 15-13 at the first break. Going over the top is Brad Keenan. Keenan says he's going to try out for the USA national team. And Doug Beal, the USA national team coach, is here tonight uh, watching some of these players. And I'll tell you what, Keenan uh, is an intriguing package. He might be able to sneak onto that team in 2004. Perfect pass into the middle to Thomas. Pretty good up by Olsen. Thomas, nice hippity hop by Thomas to avoid going under. Daniels back set. Keenan got it. How about that, using Keenan on the slide in transition. Rarely do you see a slide on anything but serve-receive. It's more controllable. This is a very high-risk play off of one leg, a lot like a basketball layup. You're drifting, very easy to use the block. This has been one of Pepperdine's great rotations, and it's easy to see why. Rooney in the left front, 6'8", Keenan in the middle front at 6'8". But what and you got Daniels do. in the right side, the setter who can dump and do all kinds of stuff. And when you're in that rotation, if you're Pepperdine, you've got to get your serve in. Allow yourself to score some points on that rotation. Ching, Tippy. Daniels trying to get squared up. Here comes Walker. And Zemet got the block. A.L. Zemet hanging. 
This set a little bit too high, even though it's out of the back row. You want to bring it down about three or four feet so that the block doesn't have as much time oh. to just camp out on you. That's textbook blocking one on one, mano a mano. Here comes Keenan again. And Keenan hit it out. Boy, Daniel's going to Keenan a lot here. 18 15. So the Warriors up by three now. And there is Bo Daniels, last year a serving specialist. This year, a first team All America center. They go to him again. I'm surprised that Hawaii defense doesn't move over a little. Let him have the line shot. They've got to play rotation They're defense. Dig that one play anyway. the percentages. If you're hitting the slide 90% of the time, you're going to go cross court. Here's the rotation that Hawaii has to weather. Keenan. Podluski goes down to get it. High left side set. Zemet. Nice dig by Rooney. That's trouble. Look out, Margaret Hall. A hair alert for Marvin Hall. Okay, Marvin. 1916. Doing a nice job siding out in Pepperdine's two strongest rotations. Ching with the floaty jumpy. And Van Roosen. Daniels hasn't gone to Van Roosen much at the quick set, and maybe that's why they're not connecting. And that's hard on a perfect pass. You want to establish the middle, but I don't think Daniels has a lot of confidence in Van Roosen right now. Ching. 20 to 16, biggest lead for Hawaii in this game. Oh, what a dick by Chang. Van Rusen pulls it backwards. Here comes Walker again, and Podluski missed it. Vern Podluski was right there and couldn't come up with it. He's and in Daniels bad, bad man. A great job. When he's in the front row, he's only got two attackers, so he brings Walker as his third attacker. Even though Walker's in the back row, he can attack behind that white line. Sensational pass by Podluski. Just can't tell you how difficult that pass is. Free ball, Ching paws it up there, 2017. Zemet, and Zemet puts it away. Now, I think that Kimo Tuye has realized that A.L. Zemet is a, an effective hitter. Not in game one, in games two and three, he's really come alive. And you've got to establish that hot hand. Just keep feeding off of it as long as you can. Kimo Tuye got yanked the other night against Penn State, and the freshman, Daniel Rasai, came in and played very well, kind of sparked him. But Tuye's gone all the way here. Milo Dinovich, here goes the mouth that roared. Here he goes. Milo Dinovich, his fourth block. And Hawaii up by five. Watch the movement. Milo Dinovich to his right. One big step, gathers, goes straight up, lines the hips up. I tell you oh, what, yeah. he could eat a, a double cheese fat burger <laughs> in one bite. I, this guy, I love this guy. I love to play with him. Dayan Milo Dinovich, timeout, Pepperdine. The Hawaii Warriors are rolling, and their fans are juiced. We're going to come back. Can the Warriors continue? Okay. I'm Chris Marlowe. My partner's Heather Cox. Hawaii has been impressive in the last two games. This freshman, Delano Thomas, has been doing the, the duty over there. The outside hitters for Pepperdine have gone cold. Hawaii's blocking them. A.L. Zemet has been hot. Ching has been playing well. And Hawaii looking to wrap up game two and keep it going. Mila Dinovich, did anybody touch it? Whoa, he missed it. That was a good set by Tuye and Mila Dinovich. He knows he missed a golden opportunity. Okay, here comes Sean Rooney to serve. The 6'8 freshman from Wheaton, Illinois. Widely regarded as one of the best freshmen in the country, if not the best. And this is when Hawaii has to capitalize. You've got Rooney in the back row, Keenan on the bench. A fairly inexperienced lineup up front. You need to score points in this rotation. Good pass. Ball scooped up and it's going out of bounds. Boy, that was a, a, a fortunate play for Hawaii because Miladinovic barely got up. He was able to kind of waffle it here. This is a 31. It's about three feet away from the setter, and it's all about timing. And if you miss it, you either whip it, paintbrush it, or it drops to the ground. That was a lucky play. Five kills, five blocks. Zemet out of bounds. That costs his team a point. Let's check the serving story. It's been nine, good for Hawaii. Yeah, seven aces and nine errors. Yeah, that's that an will incredible get it done. ratio. Any coach would be happy with one ace for every two errors. Couldn't ask for more than this. Pepperdine, three aces and 15 errors. Set left, here comes Costas. And Costas begging for the touch, and he got one. He got a touch. So Costas, Theo Arides, and Walker says, wait a second. Watch to see if there's any change in direction off the ball. That really 
tells you there was a touch. Looks like it goes right through the hands of Walker. Walker says no, but you're never going to say, hey, I touched it with no. my pinky. Yeah, the linesman right on it. 24-19, game to 30. Walker over the top, dig by Kotluski. Can Hawaii turn it right here? Here comes Samet, and Samet thunders it through. A.L. Samet, the hottest hitter in the building right now. And great overload that time by Tuge. He's got two attackers right in the middle of the court. One in front of the other makes it very hard for the blockers to decide who to go to. Daniel sets the quick, and there he is! Dayan Milodinovic, block number six. And he says, everybody up here at Penn State, I, who's the crowd for here, Heather? How can't you get fired up? <laughs> you know, watching a player like that, I think the crowd's got to be for Hawaii. I always want to root for the team that, that beat me, you know, 20, prove that they're the best team. 26-19, another touch. Tuye back set, look out below. Kostas gets blocked. So Kostas could not put it through, and it's 26-20. We're at Recreation Hall. Big crowd on hand watching the national championship match. Chris Marlowe, Heather Cox, Hawaii and Penn State, uh, excuse me, and Pepperdine. And here is Mike Gledhill. Gledhill, the serving specialist with the dorky floater. He missed his only, well, his second serve. Can he get it in and spark his team? Just a two-person serve receive against the jump float by Hawaii. Good passing, much better this match. Ching, blocked. And Pepperdine touched the net. 27 to 20, so Pepperdine in deep trouble now. Watch the forearms by Pepperdine on that swing block on the way down yep, right got it. into the net. 27 20. Ball's going out. Left side and a little thunder that time by Fred Winters. It's all about passing right now for Hawaii in the position they want to be in receiving serve first first strike opportunity first opportunity to score. Let's see how Hawaii plays it down the stretch here. Boy, Kostas! Theo Haridis, wow. I cannot believe it. That was like a back two. Out of the back row, and he goes oh. underneath the net. Watch the follow through by Kostas. Go to your big gun in crunch time. That's a perfect oh, that's set. A that ball is down before Kostas is under the net, so that's a legal play. That was either nearly a facial or it was a facial for Clint Olson. 28-21. Hawaii two points away from wrapping it up. Boy, Pepperdine, everybody tentative now for the waves. Here comes Rooney. And Rooney hit it out. Can you believe it? Hawaii is taking charge. Look for Hawaii to serve Rooney again. Go after the player, the freshman that just made the mistake. First game point for the Warriors. Rooney. Potluski with a dig for the win. Cement. Off speed, little tappy. They'll go back to Rooney. Rooney cross court. What a dig by Cement. Can anybody put it away? Ching. Oh, take a rip at it. Here comes Daniels. Daniels sets Rooney again. Another dig by Zemet. This could be it for the game. Zemet, and that's it. That is it for game three. Pepperdine in the net. And the Pepperdine players are talking to each other, shaking their heads as the Warriors blow out the waves 30 to 21. Back at Rec Hall on the campus of Penn State. What a turn of events. Pepperdine won game one, 31-29. Hawaii squeaked out a win in game two, and then Hawaii really getting it going in game three. Heather. For Hawaii, it's all about the supporting cast. Great distribution offensively. The hitting errors for Pepperdine have mounted up, but for Hawaii, blocking with those 12 blocks and serving. Look at the serving number. Seven aces for Hawaii, just nine errors. You couldn't ask for a better ratio. And Tony Ching, you know, we talked about the X Factor for Hawaii. It's that third player who's going to step up. Tony Ching has done that hitting 53% so far. And he's gotten some support from his buddy Aol Zemet. Kimo Tuye trying to lead his team to the national championship. Pepperdine has flopped its rotation, completely flopped its rotation. So Marv Dunphy did not like the matchups he has had. And this is the exact matchup that Marv Dunphy wanted. Right now, Keenan serving, Mila Dinovich left front, so they will not go against each other like they have in the first three games of this match. Good start, crucial for both teams. I'll tell you what, Aol Zemet 
He looks like Steve Timmons now. <laughs> he is just blasting away. Already three players in double-digit kills. Samet picking up his 11th kill on this swing, taking advantage of the seam in the block. Theo Caridis with 15, Ching with 12. Great balance by the Warriors. Yeah, Hawaii serve receive has kind of uh, gone off kilter. Uh, make that Pepperdine's uh, serve receive has not been good, and you have to credit the the outstanding serving of Hawaii. Well, and it's the strategy as well. Hawaii is going after the freshman, and hey, why not make Sean Rooney touch as many balls as possible on serve receive? Van Rusen with the jump floater. Left side, beautiful dig, going, going, trying to get it. Nice up by Daniels. Great play by Daniels. And slam deep, Kimo Kouye, the sophomore from San Diego's Francis Parker High School, slams it down, his first kill. And I've been impressed with Kouye. He is by far the most inexperienced setter in this tournament, just a sophomore. Everybody had question marks surrounding him. How would he handle the pressure? And so far, he's been doing great. Now, interestingly, they brought Keenan into the middle that time and hit a quick set, a, like a traditional quick set. Maybe they've given up on that slide around the horn. Well, you've got to keep mixing it up, go in front of the setter, then behind it, so that yep. middle blocker can't camp out on you. Good idea. Lance Walker had the serve, and a lift is called by first referee Marvin Hall. You can double contact the ball. You just can't lift it, which means it cannot come to rest in your hands. The drum beat has started. Let's go, Warriors. Walker serves it. Pretty good pass there. Tuye sets left. Chang rips it. Passing is just getting better and better. If Hawaii can, con can continue to pass, and they're just neutralizing Pepperdine's service game. Very few aces, very few missed opportunities, and when you get a perfect pass, your offense is perfect as well. Pepperdine on the attack. Winters has to spin it up. Tuye sets left. Ching off the block, out of bounds. I tell you what, Kimo Tuye is really dishing nicely there. That was a hard set all the way across the court well, at Ching with the delivery. He's not just using his hands with the set. He's using his legs. He's got his hips and his shoulders facing exactly where he wants to set the ball. Because of that, you're seeing a lot of consistency from his sets. 4-3. Here comes Keenan around the horn. Instead, they go to winners, and he hits it out. You can see some tension on the Pepperdine faces building. Keenan, winners. You see it? Yeah, there's a sense of urgency. Absolutely. For the Waves right now, but don't forget, about a week ago, down 2-1 to UC Santa Barbara in the MPSF tournament, came back and won that game in five. So they've got composure when their backs are against the wall. They know that they can do it. Six to three on the air. Miladinovic continues to serve. And he rips one into the bottom of the net. So now he goes out, Vern Podluski comes back in. Pepperdine trying to manufacture some momentum. It's six to four Hawaii in game four. And right now Pepperdine needs to go to the high left pin with Rooney, hit over Kimo Tuye, the smallest blocker on the court. Here goes Costas. And Costas going coast to coast on that one. He's got 16 kills. He had 25 kills in the semifinal and they said, that was an average match Just for Costas. Night. Just an average match for him. Big swing if you're Kostas and you're Rooney. I think and even though he's a back row player that you're committing a little bit more on him as an attacker. You've got to respect him. Hawaii leading by three in game four. Continuing to attack Rooney. Coming around the horn, Tuye with a dig. Olsen got it up, nicely done. Rooney down the line, Tuye again! Zemet out of the net. Kostas throws it over. Oh, it's coming back over, look out! Free ball, Hawaii, what a point this would be. Kostas. There's a touch detected! Kostas gets the kill, but Tuye. Incredible transition that we're seeing from Hawaii. It all starts with the D. How about that by Tuye? And then again, some more D. The setter just digging nails. Good patience, playing the ball out of the net. And one more time, can defense score a point? Yes, it can. Back row. To Kostas to finish it off. Good touch off of Rooney. So Kimo Tuye. Tuye will serve it up. 8-4, game four. Rooney's got a lot of passing attempts. That set's too far outside. That was another bad set. Too far outside. Hawaii and keeping it in play. Nice pass by Olsen. Here comes Big Brad Keenan around the horn. 
Yeah, Daniels is struggling a little bit, maybe because the passing is off, but he's shooting the, pass, the, shooting the sets out a little too far. Well, you know, in between games three and four, Bo Daniels spent the entire break, three-minute break, talking to his assistant, Jeff Stork, the three-time Olympian. Serve out. Giving him some tidbits on a setting game. 9-5. And here is Ching. There's the great Jeff Stork, the gold medalist. And Ching serves it into the net. Now Ching's got to work on his serve. He's playing great. He's got to work on his serve a little bit. Well, the serving game has been just fine. As long as he continues to go after it and gets a little bit more consistency, other people are getting the aces. Podluski, perfect pass. Double combo. Olsen sends it up 50 feet. And a free ball back to Hawaii. 9-6, Warriors. Rooney has it. Could be a point for Pepperdine. Here comes Rooney against three. Tips it off the block. Nice shot. That's a Sean smart Rooney. Play. And Rooney may have hurt himself. He yeah, looked like he's he, grabbing his neck. He looked like he tweaked his neck on that. Exactly right, Heather. Take a look. He's going he's to stay in. He grabbed it even before he swung at that ball. Right before he swung at it, he grabbed it, then grabbed it again on the way down. All right, Bo Daniels will serve it. Rooney. I don't know if anybody's noticed it. Marv Dunphy down uh, talking to his guys. Tuye into the middle and Thomas cranks one. Haven't seen much of Delano Thomas. They've been using him mostly as a decoy. And it's 10 to seven. Thomas with five kills, two blocks and three aces. And here he is now. They'll try to serve area one. That's in the back to Rooney. Perfect. Here comes Rooney and Rooney got it. Wow. I wonder Rooney says, yeah, my neck's okay now. You can well, you keep know, setting he's me. taking a lot of heat off of it. Those last two swings have been topspin. Once again, he's grabbing it. He is not swinging with the you, This will be the test, though, because he's got to really look up on the jump serve. Can he get his neck up? No. He's hurt. That's, that's, that's going to be tough for him. And Marv Dunphy is watching him. Or Marv Dunphy and Rick McLaughlin just kind of staring at Rooney as he rubs his neck. And now he looked down, but just a moment ago, <laughs> he was sure. on him. And punching it through is Van Rusen. You know, as much as Rooney's neck is hurting and maybe affecting him in the front row, he's yeah. passing a lot better this game. Hawaii continues to attack him, which is a perfect game plan. Go after the freshman, but passing better here. 11-9 Hawaii. Fourth game. Hawaii leads it two games to one. Zemet is blocked. So Pepperdine finally gets a block. If you're wondering about a sub for Rooney, Pepperdine has no subs. They don't sub. Mark Dunphy yeah, doesn't like to sub. And that's really been his M.O. forever. He uses six players and a libero, and that's about it. Great blocking out of the front row. Trying to serve it. Podluski comes over and gets it into the middle, and Mila Dinovich pumps it through. Talking about the attacking patterns. Covert person operations. You don't want to I'm going to stuff him. 12-10, shank pass, in trouble, point. Yeah, we have a moment. I'd like to say hello to two great broadcasters, Jim Leahy, Chris McLaughlin, watching in the islands. Aloha. They do such a great job. And right now, they got to be jacked up. Way up 2-1, to 13-10 here. Over the top, great swing by Fred Winters. He just goes up and keeps going. And, you know, Winters has been quiet, was huge in games two and three, but hasn't done a whole lot in this game. So far, I think Hawaii's supporting cast outplaying Pepperdine's supporting cast. Serving as Walker, the floater. Podluski has been automatic. Ching and Pepperdine touch the net. Hawaii never has won an NCAA men's volleyball championship. Dave Shoji and the Hawaii women have won four. Men's program has never won a national championship. Nice up. Mila Dinovich going to the floor, 14 to 11. Oh, bad pass there. They can't get the ball to Keenan. Instead, they go to Winters. Nice play by Freddie Winters. 14-12 now. Winters has 12 kills. Look at the numbers this year. Up 139, uh, about 130 points. He's playing under a lot of pressure, filling in for Scott Wong, and the All-American who graduated. Chang is blocked. Nice play by Keenan. Now Hawaii has to stay aggressive here. This is a great uh, rotation for 
Pepperdine, Heather. And look at how far up Keenan gets, and he's starting to feel it a little bit. There's that salivating, yeah. He's just waiting, waiting to pounce. I'll tell you what, when I was an opposing hitter, I didn't like it if a guy was like licking his chops and rubbing his hands. That made me mad. Yeah, and so you just hit right into those. Well, hands, huh? it made me mad and made me scared. <laughs> of course, we didn't have any 6 8 guys in our day. A timeout is called. Game four. Hawaii leading Pepperdine 15 13. We're going to continue with the national championship. Hawaii trying to get its first, Pepperdine trying to rally. The tension is building here in Recreation Hall. Chris Marlowe and Heather Cox, game four. Hawaii leads the match two games to one. The ABCA All-American team has been selected and some great names, Acosta, Daniel Fasar, Keenan, Miladinovic, Kinyoni Stunts, Theo Haridis, Topple and Wall. And of course, the NCAA Player of the Year is here in Brad Keenan. 11 kills, four blocks, two aces. He would tell you he hasn't played very well in this particular match, but he's still been very effective, and there's plenty of time to go. Well, I think they need to continue to establish him. He's just been a huge factor on the slide. 15-14, and now here's the rotation that Hawaii has to weather. Can they pass it? Can they goad him into a serving error? Can they keep him from serving an ace? Keenan unloads. Podluski, good pass. A three pass, left side. Zemet off the block. I tell you, I'm a coach, I want A.L. Zemet on my squad. Whether it's volleyball or anything else. Well, you know, he's just so steady. Calm, composed, has been very even throughout this match. Zemet hitting 364, 16-14 Hawaii. Yeah. And the roof! Kostas Theoharides with the jam. He's got two kills, wow. He read that all the way. You know, in the three previous meetings, Hawaii got severely outblocked by the Waves. In this match, the Warriors, no surprise, winning the battle at the net. Good pass there. Van Rusen sails it long. No touch detected. Pepperdine calling for it. And Hawaii now has extended its lead to 18 to 14. And Pepperdine takes timeout. 25 hitting errors for the Waves. So the Warriors feeling good at the moment, but it's not over. Hawaii leading 18 to 14 as Dunphy talks it over with his boys. Leading here in game four, the hitting percentages, what a story, Heather. Look at Hawaii, they've been so effective, so efficient, hitting 38% as a team. Pepperdine just shooting itself in the foot, 25 hitting errors. Chang out of the timeout, hits the net. And off Chang, hit him in the chest. And so Pepperdine will get it. For Pepperdine, it's all about the service game right now. They've given Hawaii 18 points on missed serves. They've got to keep it in. Daniels, pretty good pass there by Kostas. And down the head, what a set by Touye. He snuck in a back set to Delano Thomas. My pal Denny Klein, former UCLA star, said, Chris, never set the quick set when you're in trouble, because if he blocks it, it's going straight but down. But nobody else thinks you're going to do it exactly. when you're in trouble. Why not throw it in there if you can? Great back one attack. 19-15 now. Thomas, he rips it. Pepperdine on the attack. Van Roosen dug, but nobody can get there. Nice shot by Chris Van Roosen. Van Roosen trying to come alive in the middle. He could really help him with a block. Here comes Rooney to serve. Sean Rooney has been a key factor here. He's been hitting well, but they've been trying to pick on him as a passing target. And his neck is bothering him. His serve has no heat on it. Touye, ball socked up, and trying to catch it was Winters. He could not. 20 to 16. Remember, it's rally scoring. We're playing to 30, win by two. This serving Al Zumet. Not a strong point scoring rotation for Pepperdine. Look for them to look at Rooney in the back row. Ball is blocked and it's coming right over. To our Deuce broadcast position. A kill for Walker. And now Van Roosen will serve the jump floater. And Keenan back in the front row. Good news for Pepperdine fans. Can he score points with his block? Pretty good pass into the middle. Inodinovich is blocked. Chance for a point, here comes Rooney. Oh, Podluski, digging lifts. Ching, got it! Oh! Podluski with a dig of his life, and Ching putting it away. 21-17 now. Unbelievable transition game. Watch Podluski, gets the huge dig, and then boom, Cha-Ching. 
Tony Ching been phenomenal. Costas, Theo Haridi serving. Left side, Winters, Podluski, Hawaii into the net. And the side out. And I think this is a good move by Marv Dumphy, bringing in the serving specialist, Mike Gledhill, with more of a consistent serve. Serves a floater, there's a lot of movement in it, but Pepperdine has lived and died by its service game. It needs its serve right now. Mike Gledhill, the serving specialist, is in. That pass. The dorky floater may pay a dividend here. 21-18. Here comes Keenan with nobody up. So Hawaii did not play that play well. And if I'm Bo Daniels, I am setting the slide to Keenan every single time. Make Hawaii show him that they can't stop it. You've got to block angle when you're going up against Keenan's slide. Hawaii has both of its timeouts, in case you're wondering. Back set, Theo Harides. Here comes Keenan. Keenan jumps long. No! It's out! Oh my gosh! He had the backcourt open. He punched it a little too long. What a play there. 22 19. Dejan Minadinovic to serve it up. Shoulder surgery back in 99. Okay now. Nation's top blocker. Here goes Keenan on the slide. And he hits it off Ching. And that time Ching did exactly what I said. Take away the angle, but Keenan saw it. Was just floating up there and used Ching's block. Now, Fred Winters will serve. Boy, leading by a couple. Good rotation for Pepperdine. Rooney and Keenan in the front row. Winters off speed. Thomas, chance for Pepperdine. Popping it up. Going to be another free ball. Who do you set of your two yet? Oh! And Hawaii may be showing a little bit of nervousness there. A collision and a point. How does this happen? Free ball opportunity. This should be an instant point, but you know what? Podluski needs to step in there. That's why he's in, to play some Well, but you can't cut control. off. It's going right to Zemet. He cut in front of him Where's that time. Where's the communication? Big play there. Chang hits it hard off the block. Going to get it is Theo Harides. Back to Chang. And Chang rips it. He's going to get the kill. Big thing for Hawaii. They have not been here before. This is just their third ever national championship appearance. They can't start looking ahead. Yes, they're seven points away from the first ever title, but they have to play point by point. They're getting a little too tight right now. It was just one play for Zemet and Podluski. And now Tuye will serve. Good pass, set left, here comes Rooney. And Hawaii's into the net. Boy, they made a good block. And that's their just being, you know, that's their sign of being tight. They're swinging on the block. They're going after it a little bit too much rather than just relying on their fundamentals. Here is the rotation of game four. Can Hawaii withstand Keenan? And he serves it out. And that has been the story of the week for Brad Keenan. The best server in the nation has not brought it this weekend. Six 19 points. And six service errors for Keenan. In this game or in this match? In the match. Coming up to the net, Daniels, Joust. Hawaii has a chance, 24-22. Zemet fires it through. Ail Zemet. And Hawaii is up 25-22. Zemet has done everything asked. Look at that intimidating block. Rooney at 6-8, Winners at 6-5, and Zemet just six foot two, pounding it through. Pepperdine calls its final timeout. And the Hawaii fans feeling like this may be the year. Turning it around in game two. Pepperdine winning game one, 29 all. Bo Daniels served out. And Hawaii got the next point. And their confidence. Game three went to the Warriors. And it's been all Hawaii since. Rec Hall, University Park, Pennsylvania. Yes, we are here watching a warrior team that could make history. Now, Tony Chang, I'm sure 12 players and three coaches have said to him, get this in. That's the kiss of death, too. You never want to say that. Oh, oh he just <laughs> got it in, just barely. Left side to Rooney. Rooney's blocked. Hawaii leading by three. Here goes Rooney again. 
He's blocked again. Poking it up nicely was Van Rusen. Free ball coming. Hawaii gets a swirl. Oh, that's legal. Duye went right through his hands. Costas. Costas trying to take a rip. No, Daniels quick set. Van Rusen. Hawaii got to take a rip here. Four point. Cement. Oh, Hawaii's tentative. 25 22. Rooney. Got the block covered up. Here goes Rooney again. Taking a lot of. Bobluski with a dig. Tuye sets left. Costas. Olsen digs it 50 feet up. Set to Rooney. Rooney out of bounds. Hawaii's to 26. The 27th Pepperdine hitting air. Hawaii four points away now. Ching serving. He's lobbing it in. On the left side, Podluski can't come up with it. Nice shot by Skywalker, but now Pepperdine needs to score some points. 26, 23, and a game to 30. Win by two. Bo Daniels to the service line. Yes, Touye, quick set. Thomas, Delano Thomas, a freshman who worked on his grades early in the season to get ready to make sure he was eligible, and now he will serve. Mila Dinovich is back into the front line with his six stuff blocks. The strongest point scoring rotation for Hawaii. Thomas with three aces already on the day. He rips it. Well, that might have gone out, but I agree with Olsen. Take it. Rooney. Oh, double contact. Double contact. And Hawaii closing in now. 28, 23. Fans are going bonkers. The Hawaii fans, 7,000 miles they came. Thomas, ripping. Here goes Rooney. He's blocked. They'll set over to Walker. No, Rooney again. Rooney puts it away. Sean Rooney saving it for a moment. Ice in the veins right now for the freshman. Had a huge, perfect game one, seven kills in seven swings, but they've relied on him, I think, a little bit too much late in this match. Rooney serving. Who's going to put down the 29th point for Hawaii? Costas, Theo Harinis. And now, just like 1996, Hawaii is one point away. They'll have five points, five chances for national championship honors. And Mike Wilton, Tino Reyes, Aaron Wilton. This could be it right here. Hawaii for its first win with a block. No, it's a free ball for the win. Arenas, he's got it, and Hawaii has won the national championship. Costas Theo Harides has been named the MVP of the tournament. Hawaii goes to 24 and 8, its first national championship ever, first men's national championship in any sport. And fourth time is a charm for Hawaii. They came in and just relished that underdog role and literally did the unthinkable, upsetting the number one team in the country. Mike Wilton came in with a flawless strategy and game plan to capture the first ever national title. Match point. What a job by Kimo Tuye to run the show. And when you've got Kostas Theoridis on the outside, you've got automatic. The president is Evan Dobell. The athletics director, Hugh Yoshida. The coach, Mike Wilton, Tino Reyes, Aaron Wilton, Marlo Torres is the manager. The trainer, Michelle Landis. Our congratulations to the men of war. What a victory for Hawaii. Not only the team, not only for the volleyball players, but for the program and the island.